trying to physics practical exams for GCE, that is for those right to West Africa Examination Council, NECO, and IGCSE. As you can see, the diagram there is just for a model question. Structure of the exam. Alternative to physics practical paper is simply an alternative mode of assessment to a practical exam nation paper. The exam is structured to test students in the following area, reading and recording skill or taking measurement of a model diagram, usually using a meter rule or a protractor, tabulating your reading, plotting of graph from a table of reading, interpretation of information from the graph, such as slopes, intercept, etc. Adequating all sorts of errors and suggest improvement if you are to carry out the practical, i.e. precautions, and then followed by short answer questions. This model question is taken from West Africa Examination Council, GC, November, December. Okay, it's on equilibrium of forces. A meter rule AB is being balanced horizontally by two weights, M and W. M and W, as you can see there. Now, weight W is hung over a pulley, and it makes angle theta with a meter rule. Now, if you read through the question, it's theta. If you read through the question, you are to measure the various weight M and the corresponding angle theta that will balance this meter rule horizontally. Now, this alternative to physics practical, so you are not in the laboratory. Now, it has been modeled for you to take measurement. Let's look at a model of this question. Now, this is the model. Okay, the various weight M is represented, okay, by all these. Um, diagrams. So all you need to do is to place your meter rule on the zero mark and measure it to the indicated arrow there. Now you'll be given a scale. Okay, one centimeter represents 20 newton. That means for every one centimeter measured, you have to multiply by 20 newton. And then the corresponding angle theta is shown by figure B. You have to place your protractor and take your measurement for the various angles okay now look at the question you have to read and record the value of m using a given scale measure and record the corresponding value of theta determine and record sine theta in each case tabulate your readings plot the graph of m on the vertical axis and sine theta on the horizontal axis determine the slope s of the graph from the graph determine the value of m for which theta is equal to 90 degrees State to precaution is necessary to ensure accurate results when performing this experiment. And then followed by a short answer question, state the law governing the equilibrium of a body acting upon by parallel complanar forces. And write down the clockwise and anticlockwise moment about the pivot zero O in the diagram for the experiment. Okay, just as we have said earlier about the structure of these exams. Now, let's show you a video clip of what you are expected to do in the examination hall. 